Hi and welcome back. In this tutorial, we are continuing with route handlers. In this one, we will learn how to handle post request. Go with Sloba. Okay, let's continue where we left off with the previous video. We're gonna create a route handler of post in the same file where we created the get request. So here, I'm just gonna close the explorer. And here next to the get request, we can actually copy paste this one because the majority of code is gonna actually be very similar. Now let's update our code. So first of all, we wanna have a post request instead of the get. And in this request, we're gonna actually take whatever we get in the request object here, we're gonna store that inside of our database. So let's first extract whatever we got from the request and let's create a new variable and let's name it as data. So we wanna await request.json. So this is the method that we wanna call in order to retrieve the data that we are getting from this request. Next, we wanna create a new task. So let's create a new variable and let's name it as a task. And here, once again, we wanna await for our Prisma to create a new task in a task table. So task.create, this is the name of the function. And here we wanna provide data. And inside of this data, we just wanna provide a content. So this is actually the name of our task. And we can access this from data.content. And this is actually gonna be something that we're gonna send from the request. Now we can remove this uh, find many method because we are not gonna be using it. And inside of the response, we can just return whatever we are creating here. So we are creating a new task. Now let's save this and actually in order to test this out, we cannot use the browser. So we need to use a client or to set up a front-end application. The easiest way to test out now is to use extensions such as a Thunder. So in case you want to use it the same way I'm doing, so make sure to install the following package or actually the extension. So Thunder client, this one, or you can use a Postman or whatever software you want. But in this case, I'm just going to be using the Thunder client. I have already installed this extension and here we can make a new request. So just click on this new request button and let me close the Explorer here. And here in the URL, we want to provide the URL of our path. So in our case, let's remove this default one and let's type in HTTP and as you can see, colon four slash four slash localhost 3000 four slash API four slash tasks. And we wanna make this as a post request and for the body, let's provide whatever we wanna create. So we wanna create a new object or a new task. So here let's add content and this is the schema that we have created inside of our Prisma. And here we can just say task from VS code. So that we know that actually we have created this task from Visual Studio code. And now we can click on send and create a new task. And let's see what we get as a response. So as you can see here, we have a status 200, which is okay. And we have created a new task. And as you can see, we got here new ID, a time when it's created, and what is the actual name for this task. So just to make sure that this works, let's head over to our browser and let's test it out. We can see that we have a new task where it says task from VS Code. And this is all for this tutorial. In the next one, we will see how we can set up a middleware in Next.js. And if you wanna support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.